Hey guys, it's your girl Shalai and I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the $1,200 stimulus checks and where we stand. Spoiler alert, still have not hit our bank accounts just yet. Then we're gonna talk about the $200 prescription cards. That's right, some people may be getting money and it's gonna come in the mail. So if you are one of those people who's looking for that $200 prescription card, you already know what to do. And then we're gonna talk about EBT as well as unemployment. So if you wanna know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, darling, where have you been, okay? Hi, hello, hey friends. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. All you have to do is click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love Sunrise Stimulus. That is what we're gonna name this one. We already have Stimulus After Dark for those late stimulus updates, okay, if you know what I mean. And now we have Sunrise Stimulus where you get my happy smile. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. President Donald Trump says Nancy Pelosi does not care about the American workers and he's ready to sign a stimulus today. So we know President Donald Trump went on his favorite social media platform and that is Twitter. And he said pretty much House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, he took the time to criticize her and said that, hey, she has shown she does not care for the American workers. She needs to approve the stimulus now, President Donald Trump tweeted. Most other Democrats agree. Republicans are ready to go and I am ready to sign. Now, we know yesterday that Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, he told Fox Business that there has been no agreement of any relief package, and pretty much he has said that they, the money, the $300 billion remain unspent from the country's previous stimulus. Now, he also told the news anchor Lou Dobbs that we could get that money into the economy very quickly. So he's like, hey, if we can get this passed, if we can agree, I can have this out to the American people within five to seven days but yet we can't get it there. Now we know that Nancy Pelosi, she had a very tense interview on Tuesday. Guys, I didn't even wanna discuss that cause that was just her frustrations and we're frustrated. So we're just gonna extend that grace to Miss Nancy Pelosi. But she said, hey, in the interview to Wolf Blitzer, she said, I want this very much now because the people need it now, but it's no use in giving them a false thing just because the president wants to put a check with his name on it in the mail. So she's stating that, hey, the reason why President Donald Trump is trying to get these checks out very quickly is because the election is right around the corner and it looks great to have his name on a check that's coming in the mail. It may sway decisions on who they vote for. Well, I don't know. Doesn't make a difference for me. I just want my money. Okay. Now, Nancy Pelosi also told MSNBC today that the issue is not about the dollar amount, but where the funding will be directed. She said, if it's underwriting tax cuts for the wealthiest while depriving it to the working, working low income people, you will see the unfairness of it all. So that's what she has. Now, while Nancy Pelosi is giving her interviews, we have Mitch McConnell working, okay? Now, Mitch McConnell, he is actually prepping for his new stimulus bill with skinny checks. Now, we know that the first skinny bill that he had put on the Senate floor, that was striped back down. They told him, no, bro, we, we're not taking that one. But he has a new one that's coming out, and it looks like this skinny bill will actually include skinny stimulus checks, okay? Now, the Senate will vote next week roughly on the $500 billion COVID-19 relief package that mirrors an early Republican proposal Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announced on Tuesday. Now, he said that in this new skinny stimulus, okay, how about if you make it a little more like a plump stimulus or a juicy stimulus or something, Mitch? Maybe you'll get it passed, okay? Nobody want these skinny stimulus bills. I mean, you know, skinny ain't in. Just saying, you know, slim thick is the end. Just letting you know, all right, that's what I heard on the streets. I don't know if it's true or not. You guys let me know in the comments below. But Mitch McConnell said another round of tax rebates will be included in the new GOP proposal. Unlike the earlier stimulus package or skinny package, he said that the measure will include another round of checks for those who have been hit the hardest though he did not specify if there will be like an income threshold. So I don't know what he has in this skinny bill, but the last one was so skinny, hey, only time will tell. And I'll be here to update it, whether it's after dark 
or in the morning. All righty. Now, Walmart CEO Doug McMillan, he went today and called on for Congress to work together to pass a stimulus deal to help American families and small businesses. I guess you would. Okay, CEO of Walmart, you know, you guys benefited like a fat rat from the first stimulus check. We know that your second quarter numbers were some of the highest that you have experienced all year long. I know you want a stimulus for sure. Now, he said, for both sides, I think what we need to do is keep in mind that there are Americans that need them and they don't really care about politics and it's really tied up in this election and they just need some help. Now, he had an interview this morning as well. He said lawmakers on both sides of the aisle, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, should hammer on the agreement, even if they need to tinker with it and improve it over time. I agree. He said, doing nothing is not the first and the best option. Not everyone is in the same camp. These are people that are still being at home who are spending money on their home and doing things to redecorate and all those kind of things. But then he said on the other side, there are people who are struggling paycheck to paycheck, if they even have a paycheck. And so many people are unemployed that we're seeing that pressure as well. I agree 100%. Now, I know that most people did st spend their stimulus checks at Walmart, um, but I agree that there are some people, while some people have not been affected by the pandemic at all, they're going to work as normal. And then you have some people that are really out there struggling. And so for those people, this is who we need to really be looking at for the American people as well. So kudos, good job. All righty here. So moving along, top Democrats are calling for a watchdog to review President Donald Trump's Medicare drug cards. So now top ranking Democrats want an independent watchdog to expedite a review of the Trump administration plans to send out these $200 Medicare prescription drug discount cards to seniors. Now the lawmakers are concerned that the administration has the legis that they don't have the legislative authority to enact the plan and that it's improper to attempt to influence the election. I don't know, but goodness, what do y'all think about the American people? Like, are we swayed? Are we so much swayed by money? I don't know. Like, is $200 and $1,200 checks really going to sway our decision? Or do we already have our decision made up on who we're going to vote for? But that $1,400 or $1,200, you know, that may, you know, that may just help. But it's not going to help with the decision. It just looks good in our pocket. I don't know. Let me know. Would, would the $200 drug cards and the $1,200 checks sway your decision on who you're going to vote for? Probably not. I'm speaking for myself. It won't. Now, according to them, giving the unusual nature of the taxpayer funded payments to Medicare beneficiaries, they said that, hey, does this comply with the re relevant federal laws and regulations? Now, the cards are supposed to be mailed, actually, guys, in phases, and some are about to go out as early as next week. But they said that some should start arriving at the end of November, and then the others will wait and go out after the, the November 3rd presidential election. So some people may get the money. Now, the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services, who oversees the Medicare design for people 65 or older, said that they are unable to know exactly when the cards will go out because the proposal is still at the office management budget. But beneficiaries will have two years to use the discount card. So, hey, at least it's still on there because at first nobody was talking about this. Um, but low income beneficiaries who do not already get financial assistance for medications will likely get the cars, according to a person familiar with the planning, rather than everyone in Medicare Part D, which helps cover prescription drug costs for people 65 or older. So that's what we have. Hopefully, hey, just keep checking that mailbox. Now, regarding unemployment, another 898,000 Americans filed for unemployment last week and layoffs still persist. So the number of Americans applying for state unemployment benefits increased last week, indicating that the pace of layoffs are still elevated, threatening to hamper the U.S. economy's recovery. Now, the latest claims, this came from the Labor Department, which covers the week ending October 10, shows that 898,000 workers saw aid last week, four times the pre-crisis level, and this is the highest number since August 22nd. So all of this recovery that we're going on, this V-shape, I don't know if it's a V-shape, it may be a W, 
uh, I don't know, a U, but it's definitely not coming back up on the rise. And I don't know, maybe on stimulus in the morning, I sound so very nasally. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. All righty. <clears throat> Now, speaking of unemployment, the $300 extra weekly unemployment for Virginians are delayed again. Unemployed Virginians will have to wait a few more days to get your $300 weekly unemployment payments, according to the Virginia Employment Commission. Now, they said because Monday was a holiday and Tuesday they had a statewide system agency um, outage for the delay that they said the $300 weekly benefits are supposed to go out today and maybe today, maybe tomorrow, but your payments will be released within the next few days and you can log into your accounts and you can check them and see if your payments are gonna come to you as well. So that's what we have going on. And then also in Maryland, this unemployment, boy, 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 82% of Maryland claimants were flagged as fraudulent. So 82% of the claims that were flagged and investigated in Maryland have been confirmed fraudulent. So according to the governor, he said that this is a massive, sophisticated criminal enterprise. I mean, these scammers are doing a great job. I mean, not, not that I'm encouraging them by no means, let me make that clear. But the fact, how are you able to get all of this money? What is going on? Now they're saying that they have used and stolen identities to submit fraudulent unemployment claims worth around $501 million from the state's unemployment insurance system. And they said that, hey, when they reached out to some of the claimants, they asked for them to verify like their documents or upload like their state ID or driver's license and 91% have either not uploaded the required verification documents or the documents that were uploaded were reviewed and denied. So are you surprised? This is America. Alrighty, and then last but not least for EBT, CZU fire victims may be eligible for food stamps. So in Santa Cruz County, California, they have disaster Cal Fresh food benefits that may be available to residents who were impacted by the CZU lightning complex wildfires from Wednesday until October 22nd. Now, this is one of the six counties that has been impacted by the wildfires, and the eligible counties for the program are Monterey, San Mateo, Solano, Lake, and Yolo counties. Now, residents who typically do not qualify for CalFresh may be eligible for the disaster CalFresh benefits. So like a family of four with a monthly income of up to $2,893, when you take the disaster relief expenses into consideration, they would receive $646 in food benefits. So you must have lived or worked in Santa Cruz on, on August 14th. You may qualify for the program if in your household you have experienced one of the following before August 14th through September 12th because of the wildfires. And then also you cannot be someone who's already receiving Cal Fresh food benefits as well. So you can go on to calfresh.com in California and you can look for the disaster benefits and the applicants will be have to complete a interview and if it's accepted, then you'll receive your EBT card and it will be used like as a debit card that you can go to the grocery stores and get your food back replenished. That's all I have guys for Sunrise Stimulus. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you maybe later, but if not, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys, enjoy your day, and let me know down in the comments, what are you doing this morning? What are you drinking? What do you have on the agenda for today? Talk to you later. Bye guys.